I don't know if you're going to be able to pick that up on camera, but <laughs> it is really foggy out here. It's not foggy, it's bloody smoke. Um, I've just checked on the map, which I'll put up on the screen. We're about 175 kilometres as the crow flies to our nearest forest fire, wildfire, whatever they call them. The wind's changed and it's blowing all the smoke this way. It's quite a surreal experience because it smells. There's a funny funny smell it's it's obviously burning because down in the Gironde there's a lot of pine trees and they're all obviously really close together um, I don't think we've got anything to worry about because although we do have trees they're not I say don't have anything to worry about you shouldn't really say things like that but wildfires in France don't tend to be in this area because it's sort of a bit more rural, a bit more open. We do have trees, but not like in the Gironde where they're like tightly packed pine trees and stuff like that. But it has got a very distinct smell. It, it's sort of like a, a sweet burning smell. Very strange. Yeah, so I do feel for the people down that way. For, I think the Hobbit just said 37,000 people have been evacuated from their homes. Five campsites down there are 90% lost. 37,000 people evacuated. I've just said that. Oh, right. um, and obviously, there's a hell of a lot of firefighters going on down there. They've got the old planes doing the old drops and what have you. But uh, yeah, just a bit of an update. I probably wouldn't have bothered, but today we've woke up. It wasn't too bad to start with, and then I started seeing it on Facebook, people saying, um, oh, the wind's changed, we can smell the fires. And it's like, well, they're sort of over to the west a bit more and a bit further north than us. I thought, well, that's a bit odd. Anyway, about an hour after I saw that, it started getting a bit foggy out here, and I thought, that ain't fog, is it? <laughs> that's bloody smoke. So, yeah, not the best. But, uh, 